If you're in the market for a new dog and are trying to find the perfect little companion for you, you may be in exactly the right place. We stress little because that's what it's all about, and that is precisely what we have in store for you. These are the tiniest of the tiny, the cutest of the cute. These are the smallest cute dogs in the world. Number 10, Chihuahua. Now of course the Chihuahua is on this list. Why? Because when you think of small dogs, one of the first that pops into your mind is this breed, correct? So we'll start the list with these tiny pup pups. They really are one of the smaller dog breeds out there, and they have plenty of variation, so you should be able to find the right one for you, if you're looking that is. They come with short coats, long coats, smooth coats, rough coats, they can have deer-shaped heads or little round apple heads, and they come in a compact little package of around four to six pounds, depending on how much you feed them, and between six to 10 inches tall. They're pretty easy to take care of grooming-wise, but training them to be on the non-obnoxious side proves at times to be a little difficult. But if you can get that part down, these little fellas and fellettes are great to have around. Typically they become attached to one person, so this breed is better for those lonely hearts out there. But they can be family dogs too, depending on how you raise them. Chihuahuas are some of the tiniest of the tiny, thus why they're here. Number 9. Brussels Griffin. Just look at these faces. Can you guess where this breed of dog is originated? In Brussels, Belgium. These cute little dogs are, yet again, perfect for the lone ranger considering they tend to attach themselves to one person and they don't typically like kids very much. But if you want compact and cute, this may be the perfect dog for you. They usually weigh somewhere around 7 to 12 pounds and stand a mere 7 to 8 inches tall. And you even get your choice of a few different coat colors and two different textures. That is, unless the pup pup chooses you, then you have no say. They get along with other animals quite well and are great pets for small homes, big homes, or just homes in general. They're cuddly and sweet when you want them to be, and spontaneous, rambunctious, and playful when you want that too. So if you're looking for a semi-all-arounder, this may be it. Be warned, however, that these pups are really smart and sensitive, and they also have a terrible stubborn streak. So be ready to put in work. If you do, though, you'll be rewarded with all the love and companionship you could ever ask for. Number 8. Pomeranian Oh, the fuzziness. These cute little things are probably most recognizable for, well, roughly a third of the world's population's households. They're so popular and so trendy, so we must ask why. Well, one reason is their size. They weigh in at a minuscule 4 to 8 pounds, and they stand a tiny 5 to 11 inches tall. If that isn't answer enough to your question, let's dwell a little deeper. They're poofy, and that's a fact, Jack. They also have more coat colors than any other dog breed out there, coming in a whopping 18 different colors, so there's options. They also have a super soft, super thick coat, and when you lay your head on one like a pillow, it feels like heaven. Convinced to get one yet? If you're not, consider how smart and easily trained they are. Consider their remarkable, extroverted personalities as well. You do not need to train them to get them to where you want them to be. But it's all worth the work, and you will find that once you have one, trained the best of your ability, you'll have a fuzzy little friend for life. And that is all one can really ask for, no? Number 7. Affin Pincher Many of you probably haven't heard of this dog, not because they're super uncommon or anything, but because they seem a little less talked about and less on people's radars than many other tiny dogs. Well, this super cute looking pup could be your best friend, and you don't even know it yet. They're a German dog, and they were once used to control rodent problems in stables and kitchens. Basically, they're tiny little killing machines. Their name literally translates to monkey-like terrier, and it's true. They do look like little monkeys. The French like to describe the dogs as the mustache little devil. They're a perfect tiny size for those of you looking for a lap pup as they weigh a mere 7 to 13 pounds and stand only 9 to 12 inches tall. They're playful and have lots of energy, and they're protective as a mother. They think they're tough, even though they come in right around or under a foot tall, and can be pretty fearless. They're not the best with children and do tend to attach to one owner. But if you're the right one, this cute little devil will love you forever. Number 6. Papillon Oh boy, these little things look so darn happy. Papillon literally means butterfly-eared, and that seems to fit these soft-looking creatures just fine. The Papillon typically has ears that stand up straight, but at times, if you're lucky, you'll come across a droopy-eared little puppy. And they're adorable as heck. They're also little. Papillons normally stand 8 to 12 inches tall and weigh the tiny weight of between 7 and 10 pounds. This pup is a great all-around pet, as they get along with other animals, strangers, non-strangers, and children. That is if you're willing to put in just a little bit of work to help socialize and train them. They may be a little vocal, but hey, that's a commonality between many small dogs, so don't knock them for it until you get to know them. They're brilliant little dogs and would love a workout buddy, one who will walk them, run with them, play with them, and even teach them some skills. This is one awesome dog in basically all aspects, and they're tiny enough to make this list. Number 5. Yorkshire Terrier these dogs may be known to you as Yorkies, as that's what most people call them, and you may know someone or many someones with one of these cutie pies. 
They were once used to hunt rats back in Yorkshire, England, hence the name, but now they're a super popular, super cuddly companion animal. Out of all dog breeds, Yorkies are the sixth most popular and among the tiny toy breeds. They take the number one spot. Usually Yorkies weigh seven pounds and under and are a micro six to nine inches tall. They have long, soft, excellent coats and are considered mostly hyperallergenic. So those of you with allergies to dogs may find a fast friend in one of these. They aren't the most high energy dogs in the world, which is great for many, and would love to take one or two walks a day and then just lie around and cuddle the rest of the night away. They're not the biggest fan of strangers, other pets, or children, as a lot of terriers aren't, but if you train them right, they can be some of the biggest lovers out there. Plus, they're cute as buttons, so there's nothing to lose here. Number four, Russian Toy. This puppy isn't necessarily a newer breed, but they weren't really known outside of Russia until the 1990s, which compared to most other dogs, makes them pretty new to us. So we won't be all that surprised if you've never heard of them before, but if you haven't, you've been missing out. They're little tinies comparable to size of the Chihuahua, as they stand a tiny 7 to 11 inches tall and weigh pretty much nothing, between 2 and 6 pounds. Their coats are also very similar to those of Chihuahuas, and these little puppies could definitely get mistaken for their tiny Mexican counterparts. They also share a similarity with the cute Papillon. Their ears are big, sometimes fluffy, and always adorable. They can be a little yappy and loud at times, though, but that comes from the years they spent as watchdogs and ratters, so it's not their fault. They love their families, get along with kids, and enjoy playing and training and basically any other stimulation you can give them. Tiny, sweet, and easy to deal with, these sound like great dogs to us. Number three, Japanese Chin. This breed of dog is old, really old, like more than a thousand years old. So it's understandable that this little pup is really popular. It's a friendly puppy and is typically happy in nature. And as a bonus, it comes in a relatively small package. At just eight to 11 inches tall and weighing between three and 15 pounds, this is the perfect compact pet. The Japanese Chin is known to have a demeanor much like that of a cat as it jumps really high to get good vantage points, cleanses its face with its little paws, and is relatively independent. It gets along everyone in the family and warms up to strangers over time, and is known for their personality shaping around the personalities of their owners. If you're really active, they can be active. If you're chill and quiet, they can be the same. The Japanese Chin, a very great all-around option for a teensy tiny pet. Number two. Miniature Pincher. Look at this mini little Doberman. Just kidding, this dog is a breed all on its own and is much more perfect for a little apartment than a Doberman would. These dogs originated in Germany and are actually a very old breed. It wasn't even meant to be a miniature anything, but leave it to the United States to slap that label on the little thing just because it's little. The breed has been formed over time but is mainly a mix of Italian Greyhound and Dushound. But there could be much more to it that came over time. Oh, and did we mention that these dogs are little? Yep. They stand a small 10 to 12 inches and weigh roughly 8 to 10 pounds, and they're built pretty solidly. They're outgoing and energetic and are perfect for the active adult that needs an active little companion. They're also great at escaping and hiding, so be ready to play a little hide and seek. With that being one of their only downfalls, they're basically the perfect little buddy for every aspect of your life. And if you're in the market, you should really consider these cute tiny babies. Number 1. Chinese Crested if you're into the whole naked, soft skin that you're able to touch look, this is probably the dog for you. Not to mention they're super little and really easy to handle. With them weighing around 10 to 13 pounds and standing only 11 inches to a foot tall, most Chinese Cresteds are mostly hairless besides the hair on their heads, tails, and little baby feet. There are some, though, that possess a recessive gene that gives them a full coat of fur, and these are what are known as powder puffs. They are or can be athletic, but mostly they're chill. They like to cuddle up and hang out on laps and getting smothered in pets and kisses. They do become very attached to their owners and don't pay attention to others, and they need lots and lots of loving. They're really a great dog, and we think most people don't give them enough credit. We mean, have you ever felt a hairless animal? Once you go hairless, you never go, um, back. You never go back. Did this help you in a quest for the perfect little pet? Did this maybe just brighten your day a bit? We know these cute pups sure made our morning better. If you enjoyed this video, why not click like? Let us know what you thought in the comments, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to check out the new excellent videos we put out every single day.